Are you questioning the time, money, and resources required to build and deploy a business critical app? While spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, months of development time, and endless lines of code are problems of the past with Sodi Snap. Hello, my name is MJ, and I'm a principal instructor here at Sodi. In our previous four part video series, How to Build an App with Sodi Snap, we showed you how to start your app development journey with Sodi Snap. If you haven't had a chance to watch that video series, please check it out to learn more. Here we are going to show you how to use Sodi Snap's map widget. Add a map with customized markers inside your app to draw your user's attention to the points of interest you choose for them to see. Let's begin. To find the map widget, first click on the Widgets tab in the top left side menu bar. In the Widgets panel, look for the widget labeled Map. Drag and drop the map widget onto the mobile canvas. You should now see a map in its default setting on the canvas. On the right hand side of the screen, the Map Properties panel appears, giving you the option to edit and customize your map. At the top of the panel, you can give the map a name in the Name field. Below this field, you can check the box to enable full screen view of the map. By default, the map is not in full screen view, leaving room to add more widgets if you desire. When the map is in full screen view, the widgets panel is disabled. For this example, we will use full screen view. To edit the location which the map displays, click on the new location in the location box to add your desired location. This opens a location dialog box with a search field. Here you can pick a location either by clicking on the map or by simply typing the address in the search field. Once you have chosen a location, you are presented with a location description dialog box. This allows you to customize the marker and pop-up card for the location. Here you can edit the information in the pop-up card using the rich text editor. By hovering over the icons in the editor, you can see the customization options available. The address appears in the description by default. In this example, we are going to add a title above the address. Let's make it bold, change the color, and increase the font size so that it stands out. You can also add an image in the pop-up card. In this example, we will use an image of the office found at the chosen location. To do this, click on the Upload Image icon, navigate to your desired image, and select it. Click Open. The image should now appear in the description box. You can now edit the image size and justification by tapping on the image and choosing the desired options. In this case, we'll reduce the size by 50%. To view what you created on the map, click Add Location at the bottom right corner of the dialog box. You should now see the marker for the location. If you hover over the marker, the pop-up card appears with the title, image, and description you just created. If you would like to continue editing the marker and pop-up card, you can click on the marker and the description dialog box will appear again. Let's change the marker icon. Under default markers, you will see a few icon options to choose from. In this case, we will choose the briefcase icon. Let's also give the icon a label. The label allows you to add a few letters that will appear on the marker you've chosen. Click Update Location to view this change. If you would like to add more locations, you can click on the map or simply type in another location in the search field. Let's add the CN Tower as a second location. Let's also add and format a title and image for the CN Tower pop-up. The marker for this new location will default to the previous used marker icon. Under the Custom Markers section, you can add your own image for this location marker by clicking on the plus sign and uploading the desired image. Here we will add an image of the CN Tower as the marker. There is also a checkbox option for the user to view on Google Map. This enables the user to view the map on Google Maps where you can then search for directions to and from the point of interest. Click Add Location to view this on the map. Here we can see the customized marker for the CN Tower and the formatted pop-up card. To save these settings, click Save. You'll now see in the Map Properties panel that the location box is populated with the location you created. 
You can manage and edit them at any time. Underneath the location properties, you'll see a map control section. Here you can use the checkboxes to change the look and feel of the map. For example, you can add a map type option, which allows the user to switch from map view to satellite view. Other map controls include zoom, rotate, scale information, and full screen view. Notice the full screen view checkbox is grayed out because we've already checked the full screen view above. There are more property options, including alignment, which is relevant to different layouts. There are also visibility rules, as well as different formats, which allow you to control properties such as borders. The format tab is grayed out for now, but becomes accessible when you are not in full screen view. Once you have customized your map to your desired look and functionality, you can preview it by clicking the eye icon in the top right corner of the Sony Snap console. Then in the dialog box, click preview. Now we can see all of our customizations and test their functionalities. And that's it. In just a few minutes, I've shown you how to create, set up, and publish customized maps in your Sodi Snap app, leveraging the power of location mapping to visually highlight points of interest for your users with Sodi Snap. Thank you for tuning in. Click subscribe to get the latest updates. To learn more about how the Sodi One platform reduces the cost, complexity, and downtime of your business-critical mobile and IoT operations, visit Sodi.net.